Itadori, I'm you. This is when he defeats Mahito. You can't see those teeth that are exposed in his face. So I might like add that because I think that looks cool. I think it should be in the image, but it's not. Not that I'm like questioning the decisions of professional artists here, but I want the teeth in my drawing. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Close up on the face, portrait of him. Center point of my page is about here. That's your halfway. And the eyes are just above, right? So his probably nose will be there. So we'll go up and then across. We're just going to do typical kind of anime eyes. So we go diagonal. And then we go across, kind of curving down a bit. Okay, because we're kind of looking up at him. Now that's our general shape for the top eyelid, right? The bottom eyelid is like this curved line, kind of like a V sort of thing here. Now the top eyelid is quite thick. It's much darker, bigger, right? So you gotta like, just add a bit of weight to the line because you gotta darken it up. Top eyelid is usually darker than the bottom. And kind of pointy at the ends and then they add some like extra sort of lines like coming off here okay so he's looking down right so the the iris is touching the bottom eyelid right so it touches down here and it's kind of oddly shaped it's not like a perfect circle it's kind of intense kind of angles and stuff to it so it makes it kind of easier for us to draw right so it's kind of like that and then the pupil is real small inside so we got an eyelid line on top of that like so and then his eyebrow above pointy here and just you know you want a section that you can color in so they they tried to stay true to the manga in this image so they add like lots of textures and shadows and dramatic sort of lines right so they add like hatching underneath kind of like attack on titan kind of a thing like these sort of hatching lines And then like some bags and stuff under his eyes. Of course, there's loads of blood and stuff here, but that's done with color. Okay, and then we have the, the other shape that's underneath his eye here, the V sort of shape. Like that. And again, lots of like textures and scratches and coming down his face. This is like covered in blood here. We'll just go over and do the other eye now. So go diagonal. And then across top of the eye. About the same level. And then the bottom eyelid. There. And then we'll just darken this up, make it a bit thicker. Right, and then the iris again, this sort of angled kind of thing, touching the bottom eyelid line. and pupil in the middle and then we have another sort of eyelid line here along the top and then the eyebrow starts like that and you want to add a section that you can add some color to so you just do this point 
here on the top and it gets skinnier as it goes down to the back. And they do add textures. And there's a bit of a nose line or something here. And all that hatching again. Vertical hatching dramatic lines. On the inside of the nose. And then like stress lines and stuff around the eye. And then that V that's a Kuna mark under the eye there. Right. His nose. So we're looking up, so the nostrils are like big and pointy like this because it gives the illusion you're like looking up sort of into his nose, you know. And they do a little line just for the tip of his nose, like there. And then there's all sort of hatching on the nose itself. Very dramatic stuff. So his mouth kind of flat, so it goes up, across, down. Now here in the corner, right? In the show, his cheek is gone. But for some reason, they didn't do that in this shot, right? Now, you don't have to do this. You could just leave it like that if you wanted. Um, bottom lip just there, right? So what I'm gonna do is draw in this missing, like, cheek area, right? So it's like ripped here. It's like a black hole on the side of the mouth. Right, just like underneath his eye there. And then we can see his molars, the white teeth, right? Just in here. And then it's just black in here. And there's like loads of blood and stuff all around this. So it's like all blood like splattered on his face. This is done with red color, so it's not really drawn in, but I'll just draw it in just so we sort of have an idea where it goes, you know. And then again, there's like cuts coming, like blood coming down from his nose and everything. Like little blobs of blood all coming down there. And scratches and everything, lots of detail, okay. So then his chin is real wide in this pic, right? And then it goes for his jaw up the side, there, and up the side here. But he's got like a very square sort of jaw in this picture. And then we go up the side of his face, right? And we hit his sideburn sort of here somewhere, like a little V there. Okay. He also has that scar that comes across where it's red. So I'll draw it in comes right across his face, like a slash just across the face here, across his nose. That's all red inside there. And then again, like lots of scratches and dirt and stuff on his cheek. And... Right, so then his hairline. So we've got all these zigzag lines that go up all the way to like the middle of his forehead, like here. 
and then you just add the hairline coming across down towards the sideburn. There. And again, we'll add like a few more scratches and stuff on his forehead. So his ear comes out from the sideburn, just here, it's about eye level. Comes down. So your ear goes lower down on your face. It's like an illusion when the head, if you're looking up at a character or the head is tilted back, the ear like moves down. Normally your ear would be probably here, but it moves down on the facial structure because he's looking down and we're looking up. So it's like an optical illusion. And then the ear lines that they do, kind of just like this kind of thing. Right. And then there's a couple more lines and things inside. It's up to you how much of this you do, of course. There's lots of different ways of doing ear lines. And every anime seems to do it different. So he's shaved side of his head, right? So it just comes up from the tip of the ear there. And then we have the pink and purple hair spikes then that start coming out. Right, and you're gonna just go the whole way around the head, keep doing these kind of shark fin style hair spikes. All the way around to the other side. Okay. And they do have like a couple of more like layers. Kind of kind of like the manga more than the anime really. It's just like textures and stuff on the hair. Okay, so it's like it's kind of rough and Not anime style, more manga style. So, that's his hair. You could do more detail than that if you wanted, of course. So his neck, real wide, right? Comes down from his corner of his jaw. All right, so like very wide neck here, and then throat, and sort of Adam's apple sort of lines there. And then we have his hood, the red coming across the neck, and then goes around bumping around the shoulder, down there, and then we have buttons, gold, two of them, and, you know, fold lines that go out from this just to show the buttons are sort of pulling the fabric. And those little sort of, you know, spiral lines on the buttons. Just little details on this. The red hood on the other side, bumping out around, and then comes down, joins the other side. And you gotta like add these fabric lines. So like, just showing that it's being pulled sort of in certain directions. Just little texture lines like that. And then we can just see his shoulder, got some tears and stuff, you know, cause it's been a brutal fight. Shoulder going down that way. Like so. And then you colour it and add like the blood to his face. Itadori, I'm you. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.